In this video, we're going to discuss the upgrade to the precious plastic injection mold machine, salvaging as many of the original parts as possible. The reason for this was because the precious plastic injector was not as efficient as we required for high volume production. We were starting to get a little busier, so we needed a better solution to keep up with the volumes. I drove down to our local hardware store and picked up a 5 ton hydraulic log splitter. From there, it was over to Blake, our machine builder, to do his magic and upgrade our machine. Pierce came to me um, with two goals in mind, and that was increasing automation, so less strain on your body. Uh, if you're making, making parts all day, using a manual injector does take a lot more force, um, especially if you have bigger parts that have um, further distance for the plastic to travel. Depending on the part design, the distance that the plastic has to travel down the mold will determine um, the amount of pressure required to push the plastic. Um, if you have a manual injector, this force can be quite high. Um, by introducing the log press, it allows us to increase mold pressure and push plastic further into a mold. Um, and it also has the benefits of reducing voids uh, and getting a more consistent fill. I guess the first thing to consider is piston height. Um, one of the main goals when we started was to use a pre-existing log press without too much modification and any modifications that you do do that are easy to do can be done at home with simple tools. One of the main goals of the unit was to be able to split logs at the end of its life cycle and if the unit does break down that it can be taken apart and fixed. The main benefit also is from a space point of view that we could tip the unit um, into a vertical position um, so if it's in a, a confined space or a smaller workshop uh, it takes up less space. From a fabrication point of view, the unit requires an uh, injection barrel as per the precious plastic specs. Uh, so it's a 25 nominal bore plumbing pipe. Um, we simply weld on two tabs. The position of the tab determines the stroke length. So it's critical that you orientate the barrel relative to the stroke length of the machine. Um, you want it to traverse close to the end, push all the way through, but there's still space at the bottom of the barrel. We also then modify the rear of the machine and add on our, um, I guess, rod holder. The rear of the rod is threaded so that we can then put in an M12 bolt that holds the rod in place as it traverses down the uh, down the log press. One of the major advantages of the log press injector is that we can do a lot more tricky, complicated parts with more plastic than you would normally think you can do with the hand injector. Uh, because it's hydraulic, it allows us to push a ton of plastic a lot faster than before. We get great surface finishes. So this part has nearly a 10 millimeter thick wall and uh, a bunch of very chunky features. It's not something you would have a lot of ease doing with the manual injector, but with this guy, it's no problem at all. If you're thinking of um, upgrading to the log press injector, there are a couple of safety things to keep in mind. Uh, because it is five tons of hydraulic pressure, it won't stop. Uh, unless you tell it to stop and um, if you're not careful you can overpressure molds, you can overpressure the nozzle there and uh, you can cause a lot of damage very quickly if you're not paying attention. So make sure that your molds are secured properly. Uh, you can get away with loose bolts on a manual machine because it'll just fail relatively um, non-violently but on this thing you have to really watch out for it. If you've got any questions for either myself or the team, we can be found in the Precious Plastic Discord server. Thanks for watching.